Sirens, buses, and buzzing. You heard that right. Bee colonies are getting added to some Baltimore City rooftops. And Paul Gessler reports tonight from the University of Maryland, Baltimore, where they are hoping to add more bees and gardens in the school's effort now to embrace sustainability in its downtown footprint. Tucked away on the seventh floor rooftop of the Health Sciences Building. They seem fairly healthy. A bee colony thrives at the University of Maryland, Baltimore. Maybe. 15,000 individuals inside of there. Bill Castro placed the box this spring through part of the university's sustainability effort. I think a lot of people tend to think of beekeeping as something you do in a more suburban or rural area. Sometimes it's it's kind of an experiment, with, you know, to, to place bees someplace and, and to see how well they do. The school wanted to show bees could thrive in an urban center and thrive mm -hmm. they have. This colony of bees up here, it's so full of honey, they're, they're ready for winter. I don't need to do anything for them. Castro taught those on campus how bees are a primary way of plants getting pollination. They are all stinging insects, which can be very intimidating to people. He says bees are generally defensive by nature, not aggressive. You would think that you wouldn't be able to find much nutrition down on the street, but you know this 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 healthy colony of bees tells you otherwise. Even just two boxes here. It's so heavy with honey that it'd be difficult for just any one person to move. The bees here and at other rooftop green spaces across the city are not used for harvesting honey. It's left for the bees themselves to keep them sustained throughout the winter months. Research from the University of Maryland College Park shows American beekeepers lost nearly half their hives last season. UMB officials say their community is uniquely positioned to learn and help. We have a school of medicine, pharmacy, nursing, and so for those who are in that public health sector to realize the value of bees and show up today is, is really telling. The school hopes to add more hives to campus and install pollinator gardens to serve as habitats. Tuesday's What's the Buzz event is just one part of University of Maryland Baltimore's sustainability series. A four-hour campus cleanup is set for Wednesday, followed by recycling events to close out the week. Reporting downtown, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.